Hello everybody, this is a short tutorial on how to do crossword puzzles in Moodle for your students. The crosswords are not a default um, question type in Moodle, but um, they are only available if your Moodle administrator installs a plugin. The plugin is called Games, so uh, it is called mod underscore game. Uh, and uh, it includes Hangman, Crossword, Cryptex, Millionaire, Sudoku, Snakes and Ladders, The Hidden Picture, Book with Questions. So there are a lot of different um, types of games in this plugin. Uh, at Champlain we have it installed, so let's have a look at what that looks like. I'm going to go into my sandbox course and what I have done previously is and I'm going to show you um, to prepare this. In my question bank, I have created a category. Um, and in this category, right here, crossword. And in this category, I have a bunch of short answer questions. These have to be short answer questions. Okay, they cannot be. Um, uh, multiple choice questions and so on because as you know a crossword has one question and one answer uh, and that answer is usually one word so you have to set it up that way so let's preview one of them so this is um, about on a book that I've been teaching the motorcycle diaries so there's a question here and then there's a one word answer so all of those need to be one word answers so I have a bunch of them in here and then let's use those to create a crossword. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to add an activity and I'm going to use game crossword. I'm going to add. So there you go. So you can give this a name. In this case, um, since I've been teaching the book, um, The Motorcycle Diaries, I will call it Motorcycle Diaries Crossword. Okay, now um, this activity can take the questions and answers either from a glossary. I will do another video on how to do glossaries in Moodle. It is a very cool tool. Um, it can take that from a quiz here. So if you have set up a quiz um, where, where you are using a bunch of short answer questions with one answer each. Then you can also import those questions from there or you can use it from questions. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click questions. Then the category is this one here. It's already popping up here. So crosswords, 17 questions in there. Then you have a lot of settings that you can uh, adjust. I want my students to only have one attempt, otherwise they will have like, you know, unlimited attempts if you leave this this empty. I want the students to see uh, the high score. So uh, let's say five, the five uh, highest scores. I want them to see who scored the five highest. Okay. I'm going to use Great. I'm going to put um, that into my quizzes grade category, but like you can put it anywhere you like. Maximum grade is 100. That means Moodle will calculate the score out of 100, right? So if a student gets 50% of the uh, answers right, it'll be 50 and so on and so on. Um, and um, then you can choose grading method, highest grade or average grade, first attempt, last attempt, which in this case doesn't really matter because they only have one attempt anyway. So let's do that. We can decide when to when the game should be opened, at what day, on what day, at what time, and when it should be closed. I like to do these crosswords synchronously in class. I tell students while I'm teaching, let's go in there right now, you do that, and then I can see the results right away on the screen and I can talk to them about it and uh, it can be a lot of fun. Crossword options, you can just leave all of this empty. 
Um, I'm assuming that your answers don't contain spaces, as crosswords usually don't contain spaces, but you could allow spaces, so then you would select yes. So, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and then uh, the layout, there are two options. You can have the questions on the bottom of the screen or on the right side of the screen. It's up to you how you want to do that. I'm going to keep them on the bottom. So you can also uh, enter um, custom footers and headers. So whatever you type in here will be uh, shown above the quiz. Whatever you type in here will be shown below the quiz. So it could be a picture. It could be just you saying, good luck, you can do it. Or it could be maybe you saying, well, the answers uh, can be found in chapter two, three, and four of the book or something like that. Okay, I'm going to save and display. And the crossword is being created and I will now attempt the great uh, attempt the game so here is the game okay as I um, said in the settings I want my answers to be showing up on the bottom here so there you go and um, when I click here it will give me the question. It will say it's a cross, it is five letters, and the answer in this case is, this is my answer, of course, the famous wife of the Argentinian president back in those days. Okay, and it will show up here. What do I have here? Capital of Peru. So let's enter that, and we have that here. Then let's click here and this guy is called this and it will show up and of course if you make a mistake then it won't show up and then um, when you're all done um, you can see the answer you can see how much of it uh, uh, you have gotten right what your score is and then you can compa <coughs> compare it with your classmates so this can be a lot of fun. You can use it for grading. I have used it for grading uh, and uh, the students um, usually like it. And um, it's, you know, it's something different than just your average multiple choice quiz and so on. So I hope this made some sense. Um, have a great day.